One of the first things that pops into everyone's head when they're first diagnosed with diabetes is, can I reverse diabetes? If you're living with prediabetes or type 2 diabetes or gestational diabetes, the answer is yes. In this video, you're going to discover which types of diabetes can actually be reversed. You're going to discover why type 1 and 1.5 diabetes cannot be reversed. And you're going to learn five tips to reverse insulin resistance using your lifestyle as your primary tool of choice. Let's be clear here. Pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes can both be reversed if it's caught early enough and treated effectively with lifestyle changes. Gestational diabetes can also be reversed, meaning it's controlled to a point where no diabetes medication is needed during pregnancy and your blood glucose is restored to normal while pregnant. However, there are some misconceptions about what is possible, primarily due to the differences between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is classified as an autoimmune condition in which the beta cells in your pancreas have been damaged, leaving your body unable to produce sufficient quantities of insulin. This affects about 5-10% to of people living with diabetes. Prediabetes and type 2 diabetes, on the other hand, are reversible conditions in the majority of cases and are caused by insulin resistance. Whereas we don't know the cause of type 1, type 1.5 diabetes. There's a big distinction there. So this type of diabetes, type 2, affects about 90 to 95% of people living with diabetes. Now in this video, we're going to focus mainly on prediabetes, type 2 diabetes, and gestational diabetes. But you can also find all sorts of resources on how to manage type 1 diabetes on our channel. And just in case you don't know, both Robbie and I have been living with type 1 diabetes for a combined total of more than 42 years. The vast majority of symptoms and complications of type 2 diabetes are caused by a condition called insulin resistance, which is caused by the accumulation of excess fat in tissues that are not designed to store large quantities of fat, namely your muscle and liver. This accumulation of fat most often results from the standard American diet, a low carbohydrate diet, a paleo diet, or a ketogenic diet. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say that a ketogenic diet causes insulin resistance? I sure did. If you want to learn more about how a high fat, low carbohydrate diet causes insulin resistance and increases your overall chronic disease risk, be sure to check out any number of videos on this YouTube channel. We talk about this at length and show plenty of science to back up all claims. In addition to your diet, a sedentary lifestyle is also associated with excess fat in your liver and muscle. If left unmanaged, type 2 diabetes can directly lead to a number of direct complications, including, but not limited to, significant weight gain, Metabolic syndrome, which is a combination of heart disease and risk factors including high cholesterol, high blood pressure, obesity, and others. Chronic kidney disease and kidney failure. Nerve damage, otherwise known as peripheral neuropathy. Damaged blood vessels and impaired blood flow, as well as vision problems, otherwise known as retinopathy. There are also secondary complications that are closely related to type 2 diabetes, including atherosclerosis, Alzheimer's disease, cancer, chronic kidney disease, coronary artery disease, fatty liver disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, obesity, peripheral neuropathy, polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS, and various other chronic conditions. In fact, studies indicate that people with type 2 diabetes spend three times more on medical bills than non-diabetic individuals. And finally, it's worth understanding that what we call the point of no return is a real thing. If left untreated for long enough, type 2 diabetes can actually transition into becoming insulin-dependent type 2 diabetes. Now, when you have type 2 diabetes, beta cells in your pancreas are forced to overproduce insulin to counteract increasing insulin resistance in your liver and muscle. After many years of overproducing insulin, beta cells eventually become exhausted and lose their ability to continue to increase their insulin supply. With insulin-dependent type 2 diabetes, you transition to a point at which your pancreas is no longer capable of making enough insulin to meet your insulin requirements. As a result of that, 
people with insulin dependent type 2 diabetes are then transitioned to an insulin therapy regimen, much like people with type 1 diabetes. And they will then start to inject insulin using a pen, a syringe, or an insulin pump, even if you reverse insulin resistance using your food as medicine. Even more reason to take action starting now. The good news is that there are multiple evidence-based steps that you can take to reverse insulin resistance, high blood sugar levels, and type 2 diabetes effectively, and almost all of them are sustainable, positive, long-term lifestyle changes. Number one, adjusting your diet. The most important factor in the development of insulin resistance is your diet. And as a result, adjusting your diet is the most powerful way to reverse type 2 diabetes. Eliminating refined sugars and artificial sweeteners is a great start. But the best lifestyle to reverse insulin resistance and get your blood sugar levels back to normal is actually a low-fat plant-based whole food diet. Now, this isn't a very low-calorie diet, and it doesn't require strict portion control or calorie restriction. Instead, it focuses on foods that increase your insulin sensitivity and blood glucose control. Let's talk about daily movement. This is a positive feedback loop. When combined with dietary changes, Increasing your exercise and daily movement has a positive feedback loop. More activity means your muscle can burn fat and glucose more efficiently, which reduces the amount of both in circulation. Ultimately, sustained lifestyle changes to integrate more movement stimulates mitochondrial biogenesis, which means your muscles produce more mitochondria to generate more ATP which dramatically accelerates the process of reversing insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. We'll touch on that in another detailed video specifically about mitochondrial metabolism. Number three, intermittent fasting. Did you know that humans are adapted to sustain themselves over long periods of time without eating? Left over from times when we used to be hunter-gatherers, or more specifically, gatherer-hunters. It's true. And during periods of intermittent fasting, usually between 16 and 24 hours of, of length, your body starts a process known as autophagy to ensure that cells can still function. During autophagy, your body burns excess fat, excess protein, and excess glucose. It also recycles old cells. You can think of it as a sort of internal recycling program. And studies have shown that regular intermittent fasting can lead to weight loss, reduced insulin resistance, and better cardiovascular health along with other improvements like improved neurological activity and improved liver health. Yet more reasons to recycle as if you didn't have enough. Reduce, reuse, recycle. It's a good thing, Cyrus. It's always a good thing. A brief note on healthy weight loss here. One of the most common recommendations for people who have diabetes is weight loss, but simply telling someone lose weight isn't enough to lose diabetes because you have to make sure that the weight loss is sustainable. This means avoiding a low calorie diet and extreme lifestyle adjustments like extended fasting, excessive exercise, or dangerous weight loss supplements, which can cause blood sugar fluctuations and other medical complications. You got to avoid those. That's why we've created the Mastering Diabetes Method which will help you reach your weight loss goals and your target blood sugar without extreme changes. Number four, pharmaceutical medication and natural alternatives. Now it's time to talk about some of the more medical responses to diabetes. During the early phases of a type two diabetes diagnosis and a diabetes treatment, it may be necessary to take diabetes medication to maintain your blood glucose within a healthy range. Now metformin is one of the most widely prescribed medications for prediabetes, type 2 diabetes, gestational diabetes, and polycystic ovarian syndrome. But one of the most powerful evidence-based natural alternatives to metformin is a berry known as the Indian gooseberry, also known as amla. Now, amla berries can lower your blood glucose levels as much as some of the leading pharmaceutical medications, and they also have very potent cholesterol and blood pressure lowering effects as well. The best part, unlike pharmaceutical medication, taking amla berries on a daily basis has zero side effects. And number five, finally, we have the last resort option. 
In extreme cases, gastric bypass or bariatric surgery can provide an interventionary change to your digestive system, adjusting your stomach and intestines so that you feel full with less food or bypassing certain parts of your digestion. In addition to the primary effects of these invasive procedures, one interesting side effect is that patients experience significantly reduced insulin resistance in their adipose tissue. Though researchers theorize this may coincide with the large weight loss often associated with gastric bypass. People often ask us, they say, hey, if I have gastric bypass surgery or bariatric surgery, can I continue to eat the way that I used to before I had the surgery? And the answer to that question is no. Gastric bypass isn't a one-way ticket to reverse diabetes and enjoy easy weight loss. You see, bariatric surgery is a major operation that should not only be considered as a last resort, but it's something that you want to think about in being the bridge to a brand new lifestyle. Unless bypass surgery is accompanied by corresponding changes in your lifestyle, in your movement regimen, and in your intermittent fasting schedule, you likely are not going to experience sustained results, which will continue into the future. Fortunately, the lifestyle benefits of the Mastering Diabetes Method are sustainable, and they are specifically designed that way. So we've laid out the methods, but what happens after you reverse type 2 diabetes and pre-diabetes and take care of your gestational diabetes and your pregnancy is over? Well, it's very important and imperative to stick with the lifestyle that got you well once again, because you're never really out of the woods, so to speak, especially as the body ages. The same lifestyle that caused insulin resistance can cause it again, even after you reverse prediabetes, type two diabetes, or gestational diabetes. So don't jump to the triple cheeseburgers. Did someone say triple cheeseburger? Actually, we're just joking around, but hopefully the news shouldn't sound scary to you or feel like you're having to give something up entirely. We believe that the benefits of a proper diet and daily movement are positive, they are reinforcing, and they are self-supporting, and that's the magic. You likely won't need medication anymore. You likely won't struggle with blood glucose control. You likely won't have to fear for worsening health into the future. And when you maintain a good base of health today and into the future, a red light meal every once in a mile may not be that dangerous. The goal is to make that as infrequent as possible. But still, we understand that this can be a very significant change in your lifestyle. And it's not always easy to make changes and stay committed for the long term. That's exactly why we founded Mastering Diabetes in the first place. At Mastering Diabetes, we have a comprehensive coaching program based on years of research that has helped thousands of people reverse insulin resistance, achieve better cardiovascular health, and reverse diabetes, whether that's pre-diabetes or type 2 or gestational diabetes. We have a playlist here on this channel where you can watch videos about many of our clients who have reversed type 2 diabetes and pre-diabetes. Make sure not to miss Raj's video. Now, Raj used the Mastering Diabetes Method to reduce his A1C from 7.4% to 5.2% while decreasing his metformin dose from 2,000 milligrams per day to zero milligrams per day. His fasting glucose decreased from 180 milligrams per deciliter down to 85. His total cholesterol decreased from 215 milligrams per deciliter to 149. Additionally, Raj reversed fatty liver disease and lost 64 pounds in only 10 months. The best part was that his doctor told him that he had never seen someone reverse fatty liver disease ever before. And don't miss Tammy's story. Tammy adopted a low-fat plant-based whole food diet and reduced her fasting insulin from 17.4 microunits per liter to 5.2 while increasing her carbohydrate intake from 75 to 350 grams per day. In addition, her A1C decreased from 7.1 to 5.3%, and she's lost more than 38 pounds in the first seven months. There's a reason that so many people are talking about the A1C miracle. It's because the method really works. We have a range of programs from group coaching to private coaching. In order to find out which option is best for you, we suggest booking a free discovery call. Simply click the link below and you'll be directed to a page where you can book a time that works for you and speak with a member of the Mastering Diabetes team. 
And now it's time to push that cute little like button. Hit it with your thumb, hit it with your mouse. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications. And we will see you in our next video. Push the like button. Just push it. Just push it. Just push it. It should be fine. Boop, 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 boop.